Ukrainian women and children fled their country on foot, in cars, and by ferry on Friday, as Russian missiles pounded the capital, Kiev. Many had to leave behind brothers, husbands, and sons under new orders for men aged 18 to 60 to stay and fight. There is a bombing everywhere, and uh, people are afraid and uh, scared. So we want to leave uh, Ukraine uh, right now, but uh, I think that there is no possibility for men to leave. So we need to decide. I have a five-year-old kid, and I have also my sister who has two kids. Uh, so we are really scared and don't know what will happen here. Long lines of cars were jammed along the border to Romania, with many waiting for hours to reach the checkpoints. It's a terrible tragedy, and. Uh, Putin is a crazy person. I have relatives in Russia as well, and they are just thinking that it's a, not military action, but it's something like saving Russians from someone in Ukraine. So it's uh, really sad how people don't know what's happening. This ferry service usually takes about 20 cars from Ukraine to Romania per journey, but saw the number tripled as people fled. Tens of thousands of people poured into Romania, Poland, Hungary, and Slovakia on Friday. Authorities in Romania and Poland have lifted pandemic quarantine rules for those arriving from outside the EU. And from Friday, Ukrainians could get COVID-19 vaccinations in Poland. The border congestion was also seen at the Polish town of Medica. Some already in Poland waited anxiously for loved ones to arrive, like Andrei, who hoped his family would make it soon. Travel is very hard, of course, a lot of cars, a lot of buses, traffic jam. And then uh, a big prize to get here. And I think, I hope two, maybe three hours, and they will come here. I think I will cry. <laughs> UN aid agencies say the war could drive up to five million people to flee abroad, with up to three million heading to Poland alone.